a Royal Marine gets ready for a very different kind of shoot to the type he's used to. This is a photo shoot for the 2012 Go Commando charity calendar. That's it, same again, that's it, just like that. Featuring Royal Marines going a little beyond the call of duty, showing off what they need to do the job in various semi-clothed poses. It's a fun idea of raising money. Um, you know, I'm proud of, of, of the product that, that we produced last year and I'm sure I will be this year. I think it could stand up against any other calendar because of the, you know, these are the fittest young guys that there are in the country. But they still needed a bit of persuading to pose for the camera and they're expecting stick for doing it. Absolutely loads, I'm expecting it from every angle. And uh, so what, if it's going to a good cause and it's helping out, I don't care. Probably being stitched up. More incentive. I would come down here and uh, I was nominated, so I thought I'll uh, basically come down and help out. It's definitely a worthwhile cause. Um, hopefully, I'll get quite a bit of money to help out the families. Do it for the occasional chad. Uh, it will sound like this for a bit of fun and to raise awareness for different things and money, obviously, but I don't think I've got a career in it. I mean, they haven't got to try that hard to look good, have they? So, you know, lots of pumping up outside and running around and uh, lifting heavy weights, and then um, and they're in and take a picture of them, yeah. <laughs> The profits from sales will be used to benefit the whole Royal Marine community, wives, children and the Marines themselves. The first calendar sold upwards of 7,000 copies. It was so successful, this one has backing from Debenhams and the MOD. One of the big differences this year is the fact that this is not just 40. We've got guys from all over, so from 4-2 Commando who are primarily uh, still out in Afghanistan. We've got guys from Yeovilton, from Limpston, the training centre. We've got some of the commando display guys here. Um, and, and whereas last year's was shot in a studio, uh, this year, very kindly, the Ministry of Defence gave us the OK to be able to shoot on location. So, you know, serious message, but it's a fun product, and we hope that, uh, we hope that people will go out and buy it. The 2012 calendar is expected to sell around 30,000 copies with a mainly female market. Um, I can only speak for myself, it's, uh, it's Royal Marines with the tops off and uh, I think that appeals to uh, the wider um, population but uh, it was very successful last year and um, although it's a bit of fun and it's lads getting their, their tops off and having photos done on, um, on the military camp, there's a very serious side to it as well and that's obviously, um, it raises much needed funds for the charity. Some were easy, some weren't so easy, um, I think secretly they all quite like it really get a bit of skin out, show a few of the ladies. Most of the guys actually, secretly, really want to take part. And they know they're going to get stick. But you know, I was talking to a chap yesterday who took part in last year's um, calendar. Despite all of the, the, uh, the stick that they got from their mates, it certainly didn't do any harm with them meeting young ladies. So I think there's a, there's a payback for them. The Go Commando calendar will be out in time for Christmas. Charlotte Cross, Forces News.